good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel i'm just up uh, on princess parade just north of blackpool tower here in not so sunny blackpool it's warm it's dry it's cloudy there's a bit of a breeze which i find nice um yeah tidy's on its way out over there sky starting to clear up here and there from earlier this morning I just thought we'd have a look at something I've not had a look at since they've actually tidied it all up which is the Princess Parade crazy golf course so there's some information on it here which you can always pause various parts of the video to read come back a bit like that you might be able to get it in there's one shot and pause it so that's there so let's go down and have a quick look so we've got the Metropole Hotel just there North Pier just over there and there is now it's been tidied up and repainted and is now open again Let's go have a little wonder. So here's the information on pricing, etc. There's course rules. I said I've not actually been down here since it's been all tidied up, but it's looking brilliant. These little flower beds and everything. there is a couple playing there so I'm trying to keep them out shot but yet show you part of the course so if you like a bit of crazy golf this is the place to come or you can just come and sit on one of these benches in the shelter here out of the wind and watch other people play crazy golf golf crazy or otherwise full stop is not something that uh, I really Play. There you go, there's a quick view of the course. Keep this one short and sweet, there is someone playing down there, so we will continue up, back up these steps at the other end. Oh, shattered. Sorry, it's all this walking. So, yeah. So yeah, looking towards the North Shore up there, I'll cover that another day. trams see I just wanted to show you the crazy golf course here on Princess Parade in Blackpool a 
And now, of course, is the Metropole again. Um, the back. Right, so let's uh, take a little walk this way and uh, just see what we can see. So you keep going up there, head you towards the Grand Hotel and eventually into Cleveland and eventually into Fleetwood and coming this way takes you down towards South Shore and eventually down to Blackpool Airport and St Anne's. Springfield's there, actually it's the Springfield Market. Had lots of different stalls. And yeah, I might have to go over nosy in there one day, see what it's got these days. And we're going to have to cross this road. Well, tram tracks, should I say. So let's uh, watch out. Right, that's us over the road. So yeah, that's the uh, Metropole Hotel there. So we shall wander across this road. We're just having a peep through the door of Springfield's there. It's uh, quite a large fancy goods place. It looks very interesting, actually. Oh, I'll put that cushion down there. They look like they have some cool things in there. Wow, I am so warm. It is unbelievable. I really am just warm. So if we cross this road in a minute, that will actually take us back onto Abingdon Street. This is where we're going to head in a moment. It's always interesting to get over roads, especially when there's corners involved. Okay, guys, let's, let's do it. So this is the other end of Abingdon Street. Ooh, I'm shattered actually now. I must admit. I'm going to go get a, a coffee from somewhere, to be honest. So you've got the library and the Grundy Art Gallery around the corner there. These have been empty for some time. Look at these. These have been empty a while. So 
car over the road there was uh, once a job centre. And we've just had yet another planning permission application rejected because uh, they want to build flats there or apartments. But they want to build them right next to one of Blackpool's top rock venues, which is the Galleon Bar, which has a late night license. So you imagine the noise coming from there, midnight and beyond. And um, would you want to live next door to that? No. Let me just cross over. See, there you are. The Galleon Bar is open till 3 and 4 a.m. in the morning, so can you imagine actually living next door to that? Yeah, planning permission for that has been uh, rejected recently. Should be something commercial, not something residential, in my opinion, and the opinion of a lot of people, actually. Quick view down Talbot Road. And a quick view up Talbot Road. Okay. This is uh, on Torbingdon Street again, where I have been in a previous video not all that long ago when we were looking at the old post office and the Grade 2 listed phone boxes outside. This is very popular, Abingdon Barbecue. chicken and thing at the amazing shop. It's always got people outside waiting to go in. The smells that come out of there are absolutely delicious, I'll tell you. Right, I'm going to wrap this one up here, guys. So again, thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this little wonder. And uh, oh until the next time, I'm here on Abingdon Street in Blackpool. I will bid you and farewell. Catch you later guys. Bye.